Hey everyone, Will here, your sales violist with my flea market finds for March 9th and 10th, 2013. Had a really good weekend. Um, it's a little bit warmer than usual out. Uh, it's getting up to like 60 some degrees, uh, which is a little bit above normal, and it really brought the people out. Uh, to uh, Had a few yard sales yesterday, and a bunch of people set up at the flea market uh, today. Um, Saw a lot of familiar faces that I haven't seen since uh, the fall. Uh, it feels good that, uh, to get back in the swing of things. Uh, lots of good stuff. Um, nothing really uh, nothing really like a grand slam or anything uh, for picking, but uh, a lot of good solid deals and uh, some neat things. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, Neat little picture here. You can see it's starting to turn purple. Uh, that uh, pretty much dates it to right around early 1900. Uh, the purple comes from the uh, ma they use manganese in the glass, and uh, when manganese is uh, exposed to sunlight, it oxidizes and turns purple. And uh, the longer you leave it in the sunlight, the more purple it gets. Uh, and a lot of people collect the uh, this purple glass. Uh, it's a neat picture. Really well done, press glass, uh, five bucks, good deal. Pair of uh, Holt Howard uh, salt and peppers. See the uh, Mark HH Japan little ding there. Uh, paid 15 for these, and they should bring uh, probably right around uh, 30, 35, somewhere around there whole bunch of uh, political buttons and a couple uh, Hot Wheels uh, Redline uh, buttons. Uh, paid uh, five dollars for the whole lot and uh, yeah, that's a nice uh, Kennedy button there. Uh, some Nixon Agnew buttons. Uh, good deal there. I think that's a cat. That's one fat cat. Um, little creamer. Uh, people collect these things with the uh, you pour it out of his mouth there. Uh, no markings, uh, just a neat little collectible uh, decorative piece. Paid five for him, and he should bring probably bring about 20, 15, 20. Uh, a couple old fountain pens, uh, well, a fountain pen and a uh, pencil here. Nice shape, didn't even uh, check for markings on it. I paid uh, $3 for the pair of them. Uh, see if we can see the tip there. The tip's not 14 karat, but uh, nice looking pen, nice fountain pen. Uh, probably just put that on auction, see where it goes. Uh, Sunkiss crate, basically just picked this up to carry my stuff around, two bucks. Uh, bought a piece of artwork Took a chance on it. Uh, it was only five dollars uh, Luckily, it's nicely signed uh, So it's no guessing at the name Mary uh, Betts Not too bad. I mean no masterpiece or anything, but uh, 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 For five dollars uh, It wasn't bad and I, uh, I looked up the name and nothing's there so uh, not worth a whole lot of money. Uh, got a chair. Seems like I'm always finding chairs. Uh, and this one is pretty beat. But the reason I got it. Uh, well, it's really well made. But the mark underneath here. Is uh, It's a, a U.S. chair. Um, 1954 so never seen a uh, US uh, chair before so not really worth a whole lot of money I think I might it's just a neat piece to have I think I might sand it down myself and uh, uh, um, fix it up a little bit uh, that wouldn't hurt the value on this because uh, I'm sure there's thousands of them out there I uh, got some cowbell, uh, two bucks. 
got uh, pretty crude. I'm not sure the age. Uh, they may not be that old. Uh, old time sprayer. B brand, Red Arrow, B brand. Um, a little uh, insecticide sprayer, two bucks. Cigar box for cigar uh, tobacco collectors, two bucks. Little uh, uh, dog with a ball. Uh, Mark made in Germany. And he was uh, five dollars. Neat little uh, mirror, child size mirror, play mirror. Uh, I guess it was part of a uh, vanity set. Um, that was uh, two dollars. And this flips up. I don't know why. I guess it's a secret compartment in there. Hey, chicken. Checking out the stuff. Yeah. You boys haven't been in a video in a while. Come on. You gonna hang around? Yeah, think about it. You think about it. Uh, something unusual here. A uh, little uh, cradle toy. Um, paid two dollars for this. Still in the original package. That's the only reason I got it. That's got to be from the 50s or 60s. Uh, just so unusual. Thought I'd take a, take a chance on it. Uh, Monkey's uh, World Tour hat from 1996. It's been worn, but I'm sure there's a lot of Monkey fans still out there. Uh, $2 on that. Keeping with the $2 theme. A uh, Richard Petty uh, case knife. Uh, Richard Petty stuff does pretty good. Case knife, uh, case knives do well. So um, uh, for two dollars, can't go wrong there. And uh, got a whole bag. Uh, it's eighty of them in here. Uh, United Airlines uh, little plastic wings they uh, give the kids when they fly. Uh, paid two dollars for the for the eighty. So, you know, even if I get sell them a pack of twenty for ten dollars, that's fifty cents a piece. Uh, I get forty dollars for this bag. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. Well, a lock without a key. And I normally don't, but this said uh, USMC on it. Uh, so. Uh, that pretty much makes it. That was a three dollar lock. Barlow isn't the best brand, but at least it's made in USA. And this is a Master Barlow. Haven't seen that one before. That was uh, five dollars. Some little gl uh, glass cups here. Uh, this is called uh, Iris. You can see the Iris flower. And the design in the back, back, background is herringbone. So it's Iris and herringbone. Uh, kind of a uh, common pattern, um, but I haven't seen these little cups before, so I took a chance on them. Five dollars for the four. A uh, little uh, biscuit cutter, but it's only the uh, container. Two bucks. Uh, this was pretty neat. I got uh, these still in a box. Uh, cards, Magnum P.I., Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in uh, Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse. And uh, that's the second series. I looked this up. These go for around $50. I found some that sold for $50. So I'm going to probably start mine out around $50 or $60. Or best offer. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles going for about $15. And... Uh, the uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, I haven't looked that one up yet. Um, we'll have to see. But uh, paid $5 a piece for them. Uh, so that was a really good deal. Now, that's a phone I've never seen before. Never seen one like this. Uh, it's a real working phone. 
I don't know if it would uh, still work, but uh, hanging on the wall, and there's the earpiece here. Got the hook. So you hold this up to your ear and talk into the wall. Um, very unusual for five dollars. Uh, haven't looked it up. Should do okay with that. Got a uh, Thunderbird uh, friction car. Looks like it has some age on it. Uh, we'll have to uh, look it up a little bit. I, I have the, uh, the wheel cover for it back here. I got a glue back on. Uh, paid 10 for that. Um, but I think it is old. So it could do well with that. Uh, over here. This was an interesting deal. Um, got this entire box of Halloween decorations. Now most of them are just cardboard handmade stuff. But they had these napkins in here. And uh, they're really neat. I mean, they look uh, they look vintage. Hey, you checking the stuff out? Yeah. What do you like? Now, you're going to break something now. Come here. Come on, I'll hold you while we uh, look at some stuff. You boys have a handful today. Come on, down you go. Uh, they like the warm weather. So uh, take a look at these vintage uh, napkins for, uh, like I said, I paid a dollar for the whole box. That's a really neat one right there. You know, who knows, I might be able to sell these individually. Halloween stuff is very uh, collectible. Each one of these is different. Um, just some nice graphics. And I do feel that they have some uh, age to them because uh, the guy I bought them from he had a lot of old stuff. Uh, so I have to look into that. Uh, take a look at the old bag of coffee. Uh, somebody poured the coffee out, but uh, that is an old, old bag. Um, pretty neat. Somebody wants to put in a, uh, put up on a shelf in a uh, vintage kitchen, and uh, along with a uh, old chewing tobacco. How many of these things survived over the years? It can't be many. Uh, I really like his face. Mark 10, I got it for 7. It is marked RS Germany, uh, which dates it to around um, 1900s, early 1900s. Um, very collectible. Uh, sometimes you see it marked RS Prussia. Good quality porcelain. And got another piece here. Uh, this is Mark Germany. Uh, seven, I got it for five. Uh, 50 star US uh, burial flag, uh, perfect condition. Got the nice sewn on stars. Uh, paid 15 for that. And I've sold these in the past. That should bring about uh, oh, 40, 50. Uh, you know what, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I've been running a little long and we'll start up part two in a second.